Good day, my dear friends. May God bless you all. Or better said, may He make of each and every one of you the blessing itself. This is God's objective. God does not just want to bring blessings to you. He wants to make you a blessing. This is what Jesus said. This is what Jesus said. I am the light of the world. Then He said, you are the light of the world. So He wants to make of you a light, a light of the world. But for you to be the light of the world, you need to permit yourself to be used by Him. You need to surrender, to give in to Him. Because as long, as long as you give ears to the voice of the heart, you will continue being a slave of your heart, which means a slave, a slave of your passions, a slave of your feelings because the heart only leads us to feel, to feel and worse, only leads us to feel pain. At times we feel a little bit of joy, however soon after comes the sadness, the profound sadness. Why? Because we stimulate the heart, we feed the heart and the heart, who is the number one enemy of men, makes him to suffer every every time more and more. And a person asks, why is my life like this, that I only come to this world to suffer? No, you did not come to suffer. You came to live. However, because you are inclined to the voice of the heart, it's obvious that the heart will enslave you. But now, if you give ears to the voice of God, the voice of reasoning, the voice of knowledge, the voice of intelligence, then you will begin to live intensely according to how God wants you to live. Look at the scripture which we chose today to meditate upon, please. Just look at what God says. And you have done worse than your fathers. What did the fathers of the children of Israel do? They became idolaters. After having heard about the God of Abraham, of Isaac and Israel, the people of Israel, they followed the Baals, the idolatries, the gods made of stone, of metal, of wood. So God said, they did what was evil, but you? Now he's referring to addressing the other people, the new generation. He says, you, each and every one of you, each one follows the dictates of his own evil heart. The heart is evil by nature. Each one follows the dictates of his own evil heart so that no one listens to me. Which means, you see that the voice of the heart opposes the voice of God. The voice of the heart is the voice of suffering, the voice of pain. How many people watch me now and they say it's true? I got married because I listened to the voice of my heart. Just look at what, your, what happened to your life. You did not marry well. You got married and got married again because you got, you listened to the voice of your heart and your suffering became a double suffering because you suffered due to the previous suffering because you had children and now in the new marriage as well. And if you get married again, you'll suffer once again. Why? Because your heart is commanding your life. And so, my friends, there's no way for things to go well. But now, when you cease to listen to the voice of the heart and you begin to listen to the instruction of the Eternal Father, you give ears to the knowledge of God. Then the knowledge of God will direct you to the green pastures. 
and will make of you a new person. God wants to make of you a new person. He wants to make you a blessing. But you need to hear His voice. There's no way for Him to make you a new person as long as you resist allowing yourself to be molded by the hands of God. Then it doesn't work out. You cannot have a new life to be a blessing but continue to live with the curse of the past. So God says, each one follows the dictates of his own evil heart so that no one listens to me. Which means an evil heart makes a person to make foolish decisions, so he suffers. Because an evil heart speaks to reject God's voice and consequently he will reap the fruits of this disobedience, of this rebellion. At times a person says, come on. So the sin of men entered the world because of Adam and Eve. So I suffer because of Adam and Eve. Well, it's not only because of Adam and Eve, but you also suffer because of yourself. Of course, you were born with an Adamic nature, and this is why you inherited a corrupt nature, a rebellious nature. But you have conditions to change the situation when you begin to listen to the voice of God because Adam and Eve fell because they disobeyed the voice of God Most High. If you obey the voice of God Most High and you cease to listen to the voice of your heart, then you will live, you will return to paradise. God will lead you to paradise, a life with abundance, a life with challenges but victories. So my friends and dear friends, your life is in your hands. You have the right to follow through with the path of good or evil. It depends on your mind, on your intellect to obey or not God's voice. The people of Israel were walking according to the dictates of their evil heart. And they would not listen to the voice of God, so they suffered. They suffered horrors. And perhaps this is what's happening to you. You're suffering horrors because you do not submit to the voice of God. This is the reality. So you will reap the fruits of your disobedience. You father, you mother, you have your children. So you teach your children the best. But if your children are rebellious and they're adults, what can you do to change their situation? You can do nothing because they're adults. Is it not so? So what can the father, the mother do for a son who is lost in drugs? He cannot embrace him or rather grab him from his neck, bring him home and forbid him from doing drugs because he's going to do worse. So what can a father or mother do? Just pray, cry out to God. And this is why the universal church of the kingdom of God has its doors opened daily. Sunday, Monday to Monday, January to January, throughout the day with people to attend to you, to help you, to give you a word of faith, a word of life, a word of awakening, a word of salvation, of faith, specifically for you to wake up and begin to obey the Word of God. So the church is the mother and the Lord Jesus is our Father. So you who desires to receive help 
Você está cansado de sofrer. You are tired of suffering unless if you are suffering and you can still put up with your suffering a little bit more. But if you can't put up with it anymore, you can't put up with it anymore. My friends, pay us a visit. You don't have to pay anything. It's free. But you need to seek. You need to express your faith. You need to manifest your faith. You need to awaken your faith. You need to get to God in order for God to get to you. And I want to make use of this opportunity to invite you this Sunday for the cry out for the family. You who are living hell at home because of your son, your daughter, who is lost in drugs, your father is involved with alcohol, and you witness fights between your father, your mother, you suffer, you groan. The story repeats itself. The story of one repeats itself in the life of another, and it carries on like that until the person has a sound mind, a sound mind to seek help from the Most High.